right now I am <laughs> walking through the rain with my bag on my head uh, because I've got any form of umbrella or anything uh, to go somewhere that might be just a little bit drier and somewhere I can get food. So uh, here we are. Let's have a look. I don't think there is any. Oh, umbrellas. I wonder if they come off. So everybody is hiding in here from the rain. Literally, look. No one's eating. They're literally just sat here drying off. Right, let's head out into um, Innovations. Innovations, rather. There it is. Um, where it's kind of good for kids. So it's things for kids to do in here. Educational stuff. It's also great to have a little dry out as well. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm locked in here for now. Um, just check out some stuff if anything changed since I last was here. Colortopia is different. Oops. It's all about um, how you make different colours and painting and things like that. Sorts of interactive things for kids. And also, if I recall correctly, I think they've shut it off. There was. There was like um, an area that was like a house you could go in and it simulated like you being on a, uh, in the middle of what it was like to sort of have a typhoon come around. It was quite interesting. Anyway, that is Interventions. Uh, it seems a lot smaller than it used to be. They shut off a lot of it, but something to do if it's raining like this and you've got kids that are bored, bring them in here. I've just checked the weather forecast um, and it says it's going to rain for about... Another 45 minutes, so I'm either going to run and run to a restaurant so I can get something to eat, or I'm just going to braid it out in here for a few minutes longer, but it is still absolutely tipping it down. What happens when it rains at Epcot? Everybody goes shopping. This mug's kind of cool. How much is it? $20. Uh, that's okay. This is nice. Another. 2019 mode for the characters. That's 13 that's tonight. It's much better. It's either that or I'm gonna buy these. Here's that Epcot dress that we saw earlier. 128 bucks. These are cool. They're free! Whoa. Actually, how much are they? It doesn't say. Right, my new bag. It's gonna set you back 60 bucks. These are the kind of things people bring you back from holiday. And look how much they would have spent. 10 bucks. See, that's what I love about Florida. It rained down for what? A quarter of an hour and then it's beautiful sunshine again. There's a bit of spitting. England, take notes. None of this all day raining nonsense. Get the rain over and done with, back to the sunshine. So, I'm gonna try Test track again and see if I can get a single rider. Well, it doesn't look like it's open because there's no standby time. There's a fast pass time, but no actual single rider or standby.
the weather's not that great, so I've popped over to Animal Kingdom, not just a friend of mine wants me to look for a mug for her. Apparently there's one in here. And also, I'm gonna show you what an incredible hotel this place is. It really is amazing. Just look at how incredible this place is. Right at the very end, you have this amazing view. And actually what we'll do is we're gonna take you downstairs because that's the savannah out there. And actually, it might not be so great because of the rain, but there might be some animals out there. Let's have a quick look. See, the weather's not so bad now. Well, there's a bit of spitting rain, so that might put the animals off, but let's have a look see if we can see anyone. I think over here, some cranes. <laughs> Maybe that's putting them off as well. Let's have a look quick over here. Because if you stay in any of those rooms over here, you can have things like giraffes and things coming up to you first thing in the morning. But um, at the moment, I can't see anything knocking about. Let's just have a quick uh, look down here. No, maybe it's lunchtime. Oh no. Hi, how are you? There we go. So I think that was gazelles that we saw. Certainly looked a bit like a gazelle. And I think there was a zebra at one point at the, uh, at the back, having a little lie down. Anyway, I'm gonna go on and uh, see if I can find this mug. Look at how beautiful this place is. One day, one day. Look at that. <laughs> Slightly different from where I'm staying at the moment. But it's just beautiful, right. We're gonna have a cheeky little look in the gift shop, which is just over here on the left, so we'll take a look at that. <laughs> See if we can find this mug. These are really cool. So look, 16.99, not bad. So, because Expedition Everest is down right now and had Fast Pass for it, uh, Disney give you a Fast Pass for other rides in the same park. Unfortunately, not one for Flight of Passage or Navi River, which are the two that most people want, but hey. So, Kali River Rapids is 70 minutes at the moment. So, I've taken a Fast Pass for that, but we've already been on this, so I'm not going to film this one. Get too wet this time around. Tiny little bit there, but uh, it's actually sun is coming out now, so we're going to dry it quite nicely. Right, I think it's food time again. Get a load of this delicious, lovely fries with pulled pork and cheese, and this is an apple cinnamon crisp cupcake. Both of which were actually uh, off my dining plan as snack credits.
have heard an awful lot about this place. Apparently the pizzas are amazing, so it's almost tea time. I'm gonna give it a go. Well, this is my first ever Blaze pizza. It's a meat lovers with extra ham. Can I give it a go? I'm not gonna lie to you, I've pretty much eaten all of that pizza. And it is the most delicious pizza I have had probably ever. It's literally worth the four and a half thousand miles just for this. It's Blaze Pizza in Disney Springs. You have to try if you can make it. I just left room to squeeze these two bits in. Just a tiny bit of room. Such a beautiful view. Look at this. That beautiful water. a bit further into Disney Springs now so that you can see some of the things here. That's the uh, cinema, the AMC. A little Avengers photo opportunity over there. And this is the Coca-Cola store, which has lots of things to do with Coca-Cola, lots of merchandise and things like that. And they used to have, you know the um, Coca-Cola polar bear? It used to be in there somewhere you could do a meet and greet. And on the top, it's a Coca-Cola bar, and actually it's really nice to sit up there and just kind of watch the world go by. And there's a chicken guy over there, which is the most amazing chicken ever. Right, I need to find a bus somewhere. Not sure where, I'm going to head to one of the parks. Now if I recall correctly, there is no direct bus from Disney Springs to any of the parks. I think that's true. Yep, as I thought. No direct bus, so you have to play a game of working out which hotel will get you closest to which theme park. I'm not entirely sure. I have to work it out. I've had to dash, you know where I'm going. Bye.